What's going on guys? Lineripe is back here with another episode of Pokemon Insurgents. So we fought our way through defeating Kyogre and the Abyssal Cultist leaders. Uh, so now I think it is time that we go challenge the gym leader, Anastasia? I think that was her name. Um, and she is a steel electric type. Um, so it's gonna actually be kind of rough for us because, um, overall, our typing is really bad for it. So we're probably gonna have to cut in and out a few times because of healing purposes. Um, but like, we're really good against the Steel type because we have Lumiere. Uh, the issue is, when we get into the Metal Pokemon, we don't have any, um, like, ground Pokemon, like we have, we have Twinsicle who can do the fighting, but like, that only goes so far in my opinion. Um, so let's go ahead and heal up Lemire, because Lemire is really fragile. Um, I'm going the wrong way. Go back. Here we go. Uh, Super Potion. Yeah, so Lemire is super fragile. So like, he, he will outspeed them all day. But then the moment that he has to, like, actually go in on someone, or like, they hit him really hard, like, he's gone. So like, yes, he should be- I know he's faster than a fortress. We have four times weakness, but the thing is sturdy. That doesn't matter, because he just dies. Okay, so that was super easy, at least. Um, so Lumiere- let's see, so Ampharos now. So like, right now, Lumiere doesn't need to be in. Um, we can't send in Bad News Bears. Um, we need a gr Do we go get fish- fishy back out for this? We honestly might. We might go get fishy out instead of stormy. We'll- we'll kind of just play and see what happens. Um, for now, let's go with... Bones? Yeah, let's go with Bones for now. Cause I didn't even think about how good Fishy is going to be, and he's not that far off level-wise, so like, it's not like he, like, fell behind or anything like that. Let's see how much... We might be going and getting Fishy. Just having a Ground-type, I think, is... He doesn't know Earthquake, though, which is what makes it super unfortunate. But I think he's, like, one level off from learning Earthquake or something like that. I think we pulled him at, like, a very unfortunate time for him. Um... Uh, so we need to go this way, this way, this way, all right, and then, nope, not that way, uh, down, this way, yeah, this way, uh, I mean, I have a feeling we're not gonna be going, yeah, we'll just, we'll just battle the trainers, it's fine. So it's not Electivire, so honestly, we don't want to even mess with this at all. Uh, we'll send in... Honestly? Yeah, we'll send in Bones. We'll just keep doing what we kind of have been doing of just Shadow Balling. Like, it's not been bad, it's not been great. Like, Bones is just taking hits left and right. Um, hopefully Shadow Sneak kills it. Cool. Alright. So, level 55. Nice. Oh, an Electivire is super easy. Um, so let's... Yeah, we'll just throw a Hyper Potion on him. Because I don't feel like doing it. Alright, and then... So we can't go up. We have to go this way to then go... This way? Only to realize we can't go this way. Which is kind of what I was expecting. Because why else would they have this little route right here, because they want you to go up that way to make you think like you're going the right way, but then like, reality or not. So, let's see what we got next. Electros. Alright, so, I think we're just gonna have to go get Fishy. Because like, coming into him, or coming into, um, What's it called? Um, Bones just feels bad every time. 
Especially when we, like, we don't do enough to do anything to the Sea Electros. So, let's go into Bones. I mean, let's, let's see how much the Shadow Ball does to it. Enough to knock it out. Just enough to knock it out. Yes, yes. Alright, so now we got Rotom. Uh, Rotom is Ghost Electric, so a Shadow Ball should just bop it. Yep. Busted. Alright. So, Curry's done. So now I feel like. So we've done a lot of electric Pokemon. They don't want you to go this right. They want you to go right. Oh no. Okay. That's fine. So they stopped there. So we went the right way. Bronzong, perfect. Let's see if he has the fireproof. No, he doesn't. Oh, but he's burned. Burn, baby, burn. Let's go and burn. Oh. All right, so he's dead. He is dead. All right, so he's going to send an electrode next. Honestly, I know electrode's super fragile. Um. I mean, we'll just, we're gonna, we're getting, we're gonna go get fishy after this. We're gonna get fishy after this battle. I think he's just too good right now. Just having a singular ground type of just not being able to take damage. Like, what is he gonna do against that, basically? I mean, I'm sure they have outs to it, but like, in the grand scheme of things, like, he would kill everything and everyone. Uh, so we're going back into Lumiere. Um, because Steel type, aka Lava. Ooh, he's faster. I guess Complaint Kid is pretty quick, but he's dead either way. Um, so moving on. Um, let's see. How much more do we think we have? Can we. Alright, so we're about to go battle her because we can see if we can get there. So we're gonna cut. We're gonna go heal. We're gonna go grab Fishy. Um,. Probably over him just for this fight and we'll be right back All right, so we're healed. We went and leveled up fishy by one level So he learned earthquake so he can actually do big boy damage uh, So let's go ahead and jump right into this gym battle Well, well, well look who it is the hero who single-handedly shut down the abyssal cult. I Have to admit that's very impressive. You have my thanks on behalf of everyone in this town Lugia flew off after Audrey disappeared the storms faded away and we cleared the streets of all the water. Everything looks like it's going to be alright, but let's not keep you waiting any longer. You came for a gym battle, right? Allow me to introduce myself, you know, officially. <laughs> my name is Anastasia, the leader of the Kepler City Gym. The theme of my gym is machinery as such. I specialize in steel and electric types. She's, she's gonna have Mega Magnezone. I have to admit, I'm pretty excited for this battle. I mean, it's not every day you get to beat someone who dismantled a cult. My Pokemon work together like the gears in a machine. You might have beaten Audrey Lionripe, but you won't... Faraday against me? Faraday? Interesting. Wow, she is very oily. Like, she can't, straight up came out of the oil mines. Alright, so we got Klefki to start. Klefki's gonna probably have the ability that makes it... Uh, set up screens and stuff like that quicker so we'll go for a lot yeah i don't know what that name of that thing is but we'll see it doesn't even matter because klefki's dead klefki's gone all right uh metagross metagross is kind of scary uh we're gonna switch out here only because so there's psychic steel I kind of want to go for Bad News Bears, but the only reason we're going to switch out is because... Eh, we'll go into Bones. We'll see what Bones can do. Let's see if a Shadow Ball actually does anything. The reason we're switching out is because we had that Swagger set up on us, so we're trying to take things, like, not hit ourselves. Oh, it's Me Mega Metagross. So I was all sorts of wrong. All sorts of wrong. Also, I got really lucky I survived that. Um... Meteor Mash. Is that really super effective against me? Is that what that was? Alright, well, yeah. I'm gonna learn Lunar Cannon. What is Lunar Cannon? Oh, uh, it's a two turn attack. Never mind. I don't want to learn it. It sounded so cool. It sounded really cool at first. 
All right, so Age of Slash is about to come in. Uh, yes, Bone. Uh, Bone's going to die anyway. I, th I think Bones might be faster than Age of Slash. We're going to we're going to at least try. One hit knockout. Oh, that's slightly tanky enough. All right, that's fine. That's fine. All right. Um. Honestly, Stormy is a priority move, but we'll go into Twin Sickle here because we know that Ice Shard is definitely going to hit. Oh, Full Restore. Ooh, that actually makes this slightly more complicated. Um. I also didn't, I pressed Z and it didn't work. Uh, yikes, this is not good actually. We're gonna freeze you. We're gonna freeze you. That's how this is gonna work, right? You're gonna get frozen. Shield form. King shield, okay, you protected yourself, that's fine. We're gonna try it again. All right, we missed. All right, now you're back to blade form. All right, back to shield form. And you heal. So. After this turn, we're going to switch into a different Pokemon because he's going to use that one move. It doesn't matter anyway, we're dead. We're dead anyway. Um, come on out. Uh, ooh, we're in, mm, Lumiere? Lumiere. Lumiere's faster. I have full faith in Lumiere. Full faith in Lumiere. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, Lemire's. Lemire's getting kind of strong. Magnezone. This is dude, this is what we thought was gonna happen. We may not even actually need uh issue, which is kind of sad, because like he only survived that because of uh sturdy. And like, yes, you get your sturdy again. Okay, you withdrew it. Oh, they have the all the air balloons, so like, oh, he's faster than us. I was not expecting that. Um, but we popped the air balloon already. Uh, so we'll go into fishy. Uh, and we will just earthquake and just knock it out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right. Awesome. Oh, so close to leveling up, uh, but it's in a Rodom. Rodom. Um, what? You never learned Shadow Ball, did you? No. Uh, honestly, I don't want to send in Bad News Bear, but I'm going to see if a Crunch is just going to straight up knock it out. Ooh, it's Rodom Wash? Uh oh. Actually, that's a good bad thing all at the same time. I mean, we're still going for a crunch either way. Oh, he's going for a will o wisp? Okay. Oh, this is going to barely just not kill it. Oh no. Because of the uh, the burn, we didn't do nearly as much damage. Ooh, we're kind of in trouble now. We are kind of in trouble now. We're going to go into Stormy, because Stormy still has that priority move. For whatever reason. Um. We're going to Ice Shard, knock it out. Not even worry about it. Not even worry about it. Alright, so we're level 58. So, Alright, so lo literally all we have is left is that Rodom. I think we're fine. Uh, we're just going to... Go for a Moon Blast. Boom. Gone. Like, Fishy did some work, but not really. The Electric Pokemon weren't really what I thought they were going to be. But they all had the balloon, so it wasn't just super easy. Awesome. No, seriously, that was an awesome battle. We obtained the circuit badge. It's standard to give a TM2, right? Here you are. Thunderbolt! Let's go, baby! Thunderbolt is an important move for any Pokemon trainer. It's the generic electric type move that always has a use. Yes, 100%. I'm off to work on a side project. I'll be in my workshop under the gym if you need me. Under the gym. Just don't come in for a while. I'm working on something private? She's working on her privates? Wait, what? What? Alright, so we have to take the long way out of this. 
which is kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. Alright. Um. So where do we go next? I'm sure the, there's got to be a cutscene as soon as we walk out of here. Called it. <laughs> Alright, so that cave's opened up. What a weird place to put a workshop. Alright, so that was the real reason that they mentioned, like, don't bother me underneath here. Uh, so that's where we're heading next. We're going to go put Fishui back in the PC. Because I think him is just more fun. Um, I mean, we have enough fair... No, we'll, we'll, we'll go get him. We'll get him. Um, I am gonna take the item from you, though. I'm sorry, fishy. I'm sorry, fishy. Alright, so... This has been done. Uh, honestly, we're gonna just leave, leave Lumiere up front. Um, and just kinda chill right now. Uh, let's go see what's in this cave. Let's just, well, let's save. And let's go on. Hidden Workshop. Alright, Tane, your mission is done. I'm wiping my hands of it. I don't want to be involved with this creepy cult stuff anymore. Everyone's a freaking traitor, apparently, in this game. One million dollars has been wired to your Pokebank account, as agreed. That was our end. Now show me the suit I paid for. Very well. The armor has been made to your exact specifications. It'll increase the defensive stats of a Pokemon that wears it. What is is that for Lugia? I did a bit of research. The only Pokemon that fits your measurements as well, Zekrom. Oh, I should have just waited like five seconds. Harmony told me that you had Kyurum back in the Suntouch City gym. Do you honestly expect me to believe you have Zekrom too? I really don't care if you believe it. The truth is the truth. Great work. The armor looks sturdy and functional. Incredible. I've heard stories about Zekrom, but I've never thought I'd see it myself. How is it that you've caught two legendary Pokemon? Most people have never seen one in their lifetimes. Master Balls. Lots and lots of Master Balls. I don't try to coax or convince them to join us. Have you seen how the other cults operate? They just ask them to join. It's no wonder they never succeed. Common sense. Come on. A strong Pokeball is so much more effective than messing around. Anyways, it seems to fit fine. Do you have the other armors we commissioned? I, yes. Anastasia, hey! Orion? Lion Ripe? What on earth are you two doing here? How did you get in? I just walked through the door. It wasn't guarded or anything, actually. <laughs> oh. Why are you here, though? Shouldn't you be managing your gym? I came because my friend told me to. There was... Your friend? You mean Reshiram, right? You again. Stay away from me and my pal. I don't know what you want, but you'll never put your hands on them. It really is adorable how brave kids are. I appreciate you coming through. This saves me the trouble of finding Restoran myself. Behold, child, the titan of the Unova region. Zekrom, the dragon of ideals. Now bound in protective armor, it is stronger and tougher than ever before. It's the perfect fusion of both Pokemon and machine. Zekrom joined you? Why would it choose to join forces with something like you? It didn't. I caught it. It's very easy to get a Pokemon to obey you once you've tamed it. You monster. Then why don't you try and stop me? How about it? A double or nothing battle between the two of us. A duel between dragons winner takes all. Unless, of course, you don't care about what happens to Zekrom. I do care, but you have a, you have a suit of armor. That isn't fair at all. I guess not. Then what a disappointment. I'll be on my way. No, I'll do it. Rishiram, come out. God, yes, we got the white dragon. I don't know what on earth your problem is, but I'll be gosh darned if you're going to walk all over me too. Did you really just say that? Very well, Zekrom. Crush this worm. Reshiram, attack. Yeah, yeah, take that, take that. We were not doing any damage at all. Zekrom, this is getting boring. Finishing, finish it. Finish them. Reshiram, no, are you alright? To the victor, go to, go the spoils. Oh no. It looks like an armored legendary Pokemon is able to take out an armorless one. This is Armageddon. 
That's pretty indicative of the power of these armors, if you ask me. Want to test that theory line, right? Do you think that you can beat the perfect combination of science and myth? I think so. Bring it on. I want payback for what happened in the Helio City. And now it's like, I kind of wish I still had Fishy in my party. Oh, Grumpig to start? Um, honestly, we're going to go straight into him. Because I feel like he's going to use some type of psychic move. And we're going to... Uh, that's fine. Uh, Dark Pulse. So you're just setting up all the status conditions. Focus Blast. Yikes. Okay. Dark Pulse. Bro. Dark Pulse. Live. Okay. Uh, that's not how that game, how that should have gone, but it is what it is. I'll send in Luxray. Yeah, we should have kept in Fishy. Um... We'll go Bones. No, we're not going to go Bones because he has Crunch. We can't go Bad News Bears. Uh, Stormy? Stormy? Let's try Stormy. Let's see what happens with Stormy. This could be a very bad idea. Go oh, Ice Beam. Superpower. I knew that and still forgot. Burned yourself though. Is that a flame orb? I didn't read it. Um, I think we're faster. I'm not gonna risk it though. We're gonna go twin sickle. Um, and we are gonna just go for an ice shard. Yeah, I I don't want to mess with it. Ice shard. If it doesn't knock it out, I'm screwed. Okay, good. Alright. So we're level 59. That's an Empire War. Uh, 100% we're going to swap out. Because, uh, Bad News Bear is about to kill his Pyroar. Alright. Uh, Aqua Tail. Bye. Akuna Matata. Alright, so now Zekrom's coming in. It's electric. At least electric dragon? Let's see what Lumir can do. Let's see if we can get this moon blast in fast enough and not have to worry about it. Oh, that's so cool looking. Uh, we're not faster. That's not good. Now we might be faster. Now we're faster. Cool. So the weak armor actually helped us out there. Um, I'm not sure if that's the, the nature we want to have though. Or the ability we want to have. They're about to send in Charizard. I'm assuming that's a regular Charizard. So we're going to send back in Bad News Bear. Yeah. Uh, we're going to Octail. So it's Mega Charizard. Mm, I don't know if that's X or Y to be honest. But that Charizard. Oh no. The Charizard's about to hit. Oh no. Earthquake. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Go bones? This is a terrible idea, probably. Uh. Dragon Pulse. Yeah, it was a terrible idea. I, don't, I thought we would be faster, but then I realized he had the, the other thing up. I definitely know him is not faster than this right now. So what we're going to do instead... We're going to go for a heal. I don't know who we're going to do the heal on, but we're going for a heal. Um, let me see. Honestly, him might be able to survive. We'll try a Hyper Potion on him. And if I get one shot, I get one shot. I want to see if I can get a couple revives and stuff out of him. Flare Blitz. Nope. Okay. Noted.
We'll send in Lumiere. Do I think Lumiere is... There's no way Lumiere is faster. There's no way that any of my Pokemon are faster, though, to be honest. Without using priority moves. So what we're going to do is we're going to revive... Bones. He's going to Flare Blitz again. Take a lot more damage. We're going to send in Bones. Bones is going to Shadow Sneak. Do whatever damage he can. Get knocked out. He just went for the Dragon Claw. Okay. Uh, this plan may not be as effective as I thought it was going to be. Um, because now he has a fire move and it's still super effective. Uh, I think I have to go for an ice shard though. Hmm. Yeah, we played that really badly. All right. Uh, we'll cut here, we'll go back there, and we'll try. Alright, so, let's try this again. Grumpet comes out, we go Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse says, I do a lot of damage. Ooh, we got the flinch. That's really nice, actually. That's really nice. That's just a free kill. Alright, so he's gonna send in Luxray. So we went and got Fishy. I think Fishy is literally how we're going to win win this game. So we're going to go Earthquake. And it's going to knock out. Yeah, knock out. We're going to get a little bit of health back. Oh, we didn't put the... Mm, never mind, we didn't put the leftovers back on it. Alright, so we are going to... Go into Bad News Bear. And we're going to Aqua Tail and just kill it. Oh, uh, we're going to have to two-shot it. Uh, we're going to Bullet Punch. That did absolutely nothing. Oh, I thought we were going to be able to do more damage than that. Because now I don't know if this Aqua Tail is going to... I'm glad Fire Blast missed. Holy cow. So Bad News Bear goes to uh, 57. Zekrom's coming in. So this is where we go the Lumiere route. And we go for the Dazzling Gleam. Survive a Fusion Bolt. Make our weak armor, make our speed go up. We're now faster. He withdraws into Charizard. Um, He's going to go for an Earthquake. And there's nothing I can do about it. Because, I mean, I can put in him to take it. Because I don't want to send in Fishy, because then Fishy will just die. So we're going to try this and see if it pays off. I don't think it will. Because I know we're not faster. I don't think. We'll go with Moonblast? Yeah. So we're not faster. Uh, so we should have healed there then. Um, we'll see if Fishy can survive anything. Because honestly, Earthquake? There we go, we killed the Charizard now. Fishy's making a comeback. This is kind of nice to have Fishy back in the party for a little bit. Alright, so... Ooh, but this... Lumiere's not faster now. But we still have Twinsicle, and Twinsicle has priority ice. Should be good enough. Should be good enough. So we'll go the Ice Shard. We'll go Ice Shard. Good day, sir. Goodbye, Zekrom. Almost a full level. Oh, you also have Kairum. Oh, I see. Um... So your Dragon Ice Vacuum Wave it did nothing. Like your substitute did more damage than the, my Vacuum Wave did. Roost. Okay, just gonna keep vacuuming waving. 
Roost is a very interesting game right now. Roost. All right, so we're just going to play chicken, basically. Can he not? Like, why is he doing this? I get I'm ice type. But like. Oh, or is he playing the I'm trying to make you because he has the pressure. So he's trying to make me lose all my PP. Honestly, we're gonna go for an Icicle Crash. See if we can get like a Frozen or something like that. Yeah, let's see if we can do that. Okay, so he went aggressive. So he might be, he might be out of, it doesn't matter, Vacuum Wave. That was a very weird fight interaction right there. I get what he was trying to do, but it didn't pay off. So our first level 60 is Twin Cycle. Nice! We defeated Tain. 11,600, holy. Uh, I guess we did have the Amulet coin at some point. The armor seems to still have a few glitches left to fix. It shows potential, but it's definitely not complete yet. Orion, is it? You want restroom back? Visit the Dragon Ruins near Selene City. That's where I'll be. Humanity and Pokemon are two sides of the same coin. Each can do unique things the other couldn't hope to try. If we could combine the talents of both people and Pokemon. Perfection. Perfection could finally be achieved. Okay, I'm sorry, but what? What a nutcase. That's the craziest thing I've heard in my life. Selene City. Anastasia, aren't the ruins near Selene City the ones that are totally off limits? Orion, you're not seriously considering. I have to, Anastasia. I need to do it for Reshiram. My buddy, my little rock. It was my first friend before I even knew it was a Pokemon. It supported me even when the entire city was against me. You're dead wrong if you think I'll abandon it now. Well, today was eventful. Listen, Line Ripe, don't judge me about the armor thing. I didn't know he was a cultist until today. I'd never even seen him before. And hey, if it helps any, I have a few prototype armor suits. They're not perfect, but they'll get the job done. Let me know if you're interested. I am interested. Um, um, give me stuff. Uh, can I? I would like to buy an armor? Tyranitar armor, Levani armor, and Flygon armor. For 10,000 each. Those are really good to know about. But, uh, yeah, we can't do that right now. Is this how we get the Rotom Wash if we wanted it? Yeah, it is. Is this how we get all the... Ooh, what's in the box? What's in the box? A defunct sto Oh, it's... Gotcha. Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, we can learn some moves. Ooh, we can learn some moves. And like some of these are actually like really good moves. Like Iron Head is solid. So is Meteor Mash. Like this is actually really good for Bad News Bear and Twin Sickle, I think. Uh, Iron Head is, yeah, Iron Head is awesome. Goodbye, Psycho Cut. Goodbye, Psycho Cut. Um, honestly, Iron Head might be just really good to just put on Bad News Bear as well. Let me look and see what he has again before I make the decision. I like it over Bullet Punch, I think. I like it over Bullet Punch. This is huge. And what was the other one that we need to do? Uh, I think it was either, it was Meteor Mash, but I don't think we're going to do it. Yeah, so that's huge. We got some good attacks. We're not going to do it on our Charizard, though, even though we could learn it. Um, so we are going to go heal. We're going to cut to Selene City, uh, and we will be right back. So we realized we uh, can't get to Selene City yet. So let's go ahead and uh, continue on. Um, so... Yeah, we're gonna battle some trainers. We have our uh, him up front right now. Um, get a little extra Monets. A little extra Monets. Uh, so he's very. Oh, this is not. I mean, we're gonna go into Fishy here. We decided that we were gonna leave Fishy in for now uh, because we realized that Stormy is just not convenient enough for anything. And just having the 
type coverage and fishy is super nice right now. Uh, especially the ground type, because that's something that we were lacking. So. Alright, so let's go ahead and just plow through this little rat trainer. Fishy needs some levels. Fishy needs some levels. Alright. So let's let's keep going up. Ooh, milk tank. I wonder what else is in this grass. Can we oh we have to dive here, don't we? Huh, cool. Right, so we dove. We're chilling. Uh, we're just kind of just trying to avoid some of the grass right now. Is this where we resurface? No. I don't remember. No, it's this little light patch right here. Um, I, I, I wanted to make sure I saw something like clip off to the right, and I wanted to make sure we couldn't like go up there for any chance. Uh, so. What is. We're going to double check to the right. There's something over here. There's no way there's not something over here. There's no way. They just have grass over here because they can. That's annoying. Okay. Well, let's we'll see what's in the grass. Yen Mega! Dude! Oh, I can't escape. That's not good. That's not good. Yen Mega's awesome. He's one of my favorite from, like, the Gen 4 uh, editions of, like, the Gen 2 Pokemon. Um, well, apparently he's gonna kill me, so... Uh, we're gonna skip this trainer. Um... Why do you seem like you're not a... You are a threat. I mean, you're not a threat, but, like, we're gonna skip battling you for right now. And honestly, we're gonna go around this guy, too. Okay, so there's just a few trainers, so we're, we'll go battle them off. Uh, so we are in the next town. Um, so like we do in every episode, uh, we're gonna explore the town. Uh, we'll let you know if there's anything eventful, we'll either clip it in, or we'll just tell you on the next time. So we'll be right back. Alright, so I'm glad we saved at one point in this town. Uh, because as we were exploring, we explored all the buildings, but when we came up here into... So also this town is meant for the Safari Zone. So we were, there is a cave over here, which we have not gone in yet at all. But the moment we came this way, there's a Zoroark. And then this guy. Are you alright? Don't panic, I'm only here to talk. You've become something of a legend back in the Cult of Darkrai. Persephone's placed a huge bounty on your head, now everyone's trying to find you. I'm not interested in all that. Remember when you escaped the base, when Darkrai was summoned? I was the cultist that stood within the circle. Turns out Darkrai doesn't want ritual sacrifices and evil done in its name. Most legendaries don't. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if Rayquaza rescued East somehow. Persephone and Darkrai's goals are completely different. She doesn't want world domination or control, she just wants revenge. And you need to stop her from getting it. Soon she'll find a way to control it. If you let her, another legendary will be enslaved. Not only that, but you and that green-haired girl have your own reason for saving it. It may have the secret to curing Audrey's son. I apologize for taking your time. Believe it or not, you and Darkrai might share a common goal. Have a nice day. So, like, we haven't explored any further, so we have no idea what's over this way. Um, but that was an important enough scene that I felt like we needed to show that. Uh, so we'll go explore this uh, house and everything to the right, and we'll be right back. So before we go into what we assume would be the safari zone, uh, we had a hunch for whatever reason. Like, we didn't look anything up, but in this pillar right here is the Mawalite. Um, so as we were coming to this building, we just had a hunch. And so when we come up here, we see that there's a cave right there. So we're, we're assuming that this cave over here leads to that cave eventually. So let's explore this and just kind of see what's going on. Alrighty. So nothing super eventful, just kind of got us through there to the Merc Forest. Alright, so we have a Nurse Joy right here. Which is uh, a good thing and a terrifying thing all at once. 
honestly, we're gonna go back for now. Um, we're gonna go to the Safari Zone and see if we can do something with that before like going through the entire Merc Forest. We'll see if they stop me. Nope, they don't stop me. Okay, so 500. 500. Alright. So we're gonna explore the Safari Zone. Uh, we know nothing about it, we're just gonna kinda wander and chill. Um, let's follow the path. I don't know what that trainer was doing. Um, I know I'm supposed to be like wandering in the grass, I feel like, but a dino around here once. Okay. What about oh, giraffe rig? Uh, I don't really want a giraffe rig. If there's something cool that I want, I'll catch it, but. Uh, they're also looking for dino. Okay. Dino, you look important. You're just staring off into the water. Oh, no. Okay, what about... Alright, let's see. Among Us! Among Us! Among Us! Alright, so Morian Megas. Um... Doom, 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 doom. I know we're looking for items and stuff like that, probably. Fire Zone used to be completely flooded. I'd love to explore it. Cool. Um, there's got to be an item right here. What? We're gonna surf. Ooh, so come back sometime when we have waterfall, maybe? There's no way there's nothing on this little patch right here. There's no way there's not any. What? It's literally just here for decoration. That's interesting. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna come to the waterfall and make sure. Okay. All right, so what we got in the water? Oh, stuff for alligator. You know, just a big alligator just coming at me. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we're on the sand area. It's kind of looks like there could be something. What do you got? Oh, this is the desert. So there's gonna be a little more sandy Pokemon. Like Doug Trio. Like Doug Trio. And eh, we went too far. Alright. So let's come up here. Um So limited amount of room up in here. We're gonna run into a few Pokemon here. Crocodile. I mean, I'll throw a ball at it and just see what happens. Bye. Can you do the old trick of like, where you can do this and that doesn't count as taking steps, but you still are wrestling the grass? Apparently not. All right, so we're gonna move on. What's this way? You look important. Alright, so, we- Diggersby, though? Diggersby? Alright, so we really didn't find... Cradley. I'm just gonna keep throwing balls and if we catch it, we catch it. Alright, well, bye. Didn't want you anyway. Oh. That was short and sweet to the point. Um... We're going to try and do that again and see if we can find anything. So we'll be right back. All right. So we looked it up after exploring for a little bit. Uh, there's no like new cutscenes. It is an optional area. Um, so you can find, I won't spoil anything, but you can find specific legendaries in there at some point. I just don't think we're at that point yet. So we're going to go back into this cave and we're going to go through the Merc Forest now. Alright, so... Is there a thing I can do to, like... Cobwebs are creepy. Can I break that? No? How do I get up there, then? 
Can I go around? That's not what I was trying to do. Like, can I go up here and through? Can I go... What do you mean, can't escape her? Oh, they're, the Wapo were a little 56 now. We might already be starting to get underleveled. Apparently, since I can't outrun a Venomoth, that's really unfortunate. So we can't jump through there. Um, so let's, I mean, we're, since we're literally right here, get rid of our poison. Uh, no. Um, and let's adventure. Let's see. Let's see. So if we come up here, I mean, if we just follow the path, what happens? We're going to try and avoid the trainers for now. We'll come... I say we're going to try and avoid them, and then I run into one. Uh, because I'll, I'll try and battle some of those off-stream if I can. Um... Alright, so let's go for Dark Pulse. And Dark Pulse. Goodbye him. Goodbye him. That's fine, honestly. Uh, Bones, since you're kind of falling off a little bit, let's get you a little experience. Uh, just get the Shadow Sneak and just finish him. Alright. So, level 57, Scrafty, Dark Fighting, um, mm, go fishy, yeah, go fishy, and we'll go for an Earthquake, just because I think Earthquake seem to do a lot of just did not hammer arm. Okay, so hammer arm is super effective, so that's the good news. But we're gonna go for the 100% accuracy and just kill it. So I thought maybe the dark and the fighting might cancel each other out, but they didn't. So, ah. so let's move on. Um, ooh, all right. So we're in the dragon area. What is this? A full heal. Thanks. Thanks. Alright, so Dragon Temple. Uh, so this is probably where I can evolve uh, into Letheon if I need to. Um, as well as, this water seems extra fishy and not our Swampert, so we're going to kind of explore it for a se second. Because um, there's... Uh, if we had strength, we would move it. But... Apparently it doesn't work. So it might just be a shortcut. Um, we gotta see what moves make strength work. So let's keep going. Um, yes, yeah, so let's go in here. Where do you take me? I go up. Oh, just a echoed voice. Okay, cool. I mean, there's literally nothing else here. Alright, so let's go this way then. Um, let's go this way. Um, and let's let the exit. Oh, so we're in Hecate Town. Um, alright. So this seems like a very good place to wrap up this episode. Um, so we will explore the town, uh, and we will catch y'all next time. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe, follow, like, all that wonderful things that help support the channel. And I will catch y'all next time. Bye.